I am not Morgan Freeman, and what you see is not real. Did you notice this wasn't a real video? It can sometimes be difficult to spot AI-generated videos known as deepfakes, that is, digitally manipulated content where a person's face, expression or speech is altered by AI. I think as of today, if it's reasonably good, it's going to be very hard for the average person to detect it by just listening to it or watching it. I see a lot of people ask me, what are the cues I can look at? Some things that might be helpful now are to look for videos that might have a be pixelated in particular areas that are blurry. And sometimes if an image just looks too good to be true, it might actually be fake. So when a deep fake is made, it's made on available data, available images. And so the default of an artificially generated image tends to be pretty and pleasing, right? So things that might look abnormal might actually less likely to be deep faked but the models are, are changing. And if somebody realizes that a tip might be a deep fake doesn't blink, then everyone will look around and see that it doesn't blink. And then suddenly we'll have a new method where people are blinking. We're entering an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time. If you actually want to have a very good detection system, you have to run a whole series of detection techniques to be able to, to analyze a particular video or audio. Deepfake detection tools are technical tools that run kind of the meta-analysis of the video and the audio to see if there's any alterations in between the frames or maybe in the audio. Um, and so they're models that are just looking for the probability that something has been altered. Most deepfake detection tools are just going to give you a likelihood that something is faked, and a good deepfake detection tool might tell you where it's been faked um, or where something looks suspicious. So then somebody that's using the tool can then go follow up and investigate that further. Imagine this for a second. One man with total control of billions of people's stolen data, all their secrets, their lives, their futures. Whoever controls the data controls the future. When it comes to regulating deepfakes, there's discussions about how should we hold platforms responsible if they know that a deepfake is there. And I do think that the appetite for regulation of um, large social media companies is changing, but how do you do that? Um, and then how do you enforce it? And that's the really big question about some of the policy recommendations that people have is how are we going to enforce it and what are the penalties for violating it? This is like an arms race. The people making the synthetic media and altered media are going to get better and better, and the detection methods will get better and better. But there's going to be a point where I'm maybe I'm a little bit worried. Um, I, I also believe that we may get to a point in our society where, um, you know, you can't believe anything unless you've seen it with your own eyes or you get the content from some really trusted third party. I would like to welcome you to the era of synthetic reality. Now, what do you see?